beast, isn't they? Just the bits. The smallest little thornback. No, I'm just kind of I'm not losing the rod over the side. And his eyes. He's got amazing eyes. Doggy in the boot. Called him, man. It. There's a bit of weight to that, you know. And that's what we want, don't we? We don't want the same same all the time. We want something different. A good old show. Hello and welcome to the channel. Where am I fishing today? Well, no prizes for the fact that I'm on my boat. I'm out right next to the nav tower. It's literally a stone's throw that way. There's other boats around. There's a couple of boats I can see. I'm here with my fishing buddy, Stuart Crane. You've seen one of the videos where we fished together before. Um, I think that was Barton. Barton, where we were trying for, for hounds. Um, and one of the things I've targeted today, or what I'd like to target, there's two really, if I'm completely honest. One, I'd like a big eel. I'd really like a big eel. Double figures if possible. Um, I've spoken to a few people and this is the right place, the right time. So I'd like a big eel. If that happens, I'll be a happy boy. Most people don't want to catch them. And the other one, I'd like a unicorn. So I've got a bucket with loads of squid in it. I've got wraps and wraps. I think I've got three whole um, wraps of black lug, Welsh black lug. And really, we're waiting for the slack and then the initial flood. I think that is the chance that we're going to get if they're going to appear at all. So we're in fairly deep water. We're in about 55, 60 feet, depending on the tide. Um, and that's where we're at. I'm using my two really cheap decathlon rods. <laughs> they were £34 each, and that includes the reel and the line. And they're my stopgap until I've decided what I want to get and where I'm going to go. And I think I'm going to go ugly sticks and sloshes. For anyone that knows, that's the Shakespeare ugly stick rods um, and the Daiwa SL, SL 20 or 30 SH um, reels. And they'll be loaded with braid because I can't be doing with one, no, not for deep water stuff. Um, so what are we fishing with today? I'm using a running ledger and I'm getting away with about 10 to 12 ounces of weight. So I'm using cannonball weights. And we'll see how it goes. So this little creature's just come knocking on the door. <laughs> Nine pound 12. We couldn't get a really, really steady. Oh, flippy, oh, floppy tail. <laughs> Nine pound 12. Not quite a double. But I said on my live the other day, I really want to catch a decent sized eel. And this rod just went absolutely crackers. Me and Stu were having a bit of a chin wag and it bent double. This little critter came along. <laughs> I'm going to get him back in. And in he goes and he's gone. And today is forecast clear and bright with very light winds. And it's exactly that. Go. I've got another bite. I've got another bite on that rod. And that's, a, that's it. Oh, you can hear the reel going as well. Yeah. Let's get this in. Oh, that's another good bite. I hope that's not the same eel. Oh, yeah, this is hanging on. Let's take the clicker off. Oh, yeah. I reckon this is another reel, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> In fact, he's starting to worry me now because he is just coming straight towards me. He's going to kick up a fuss in a minute, I think. Yeah, well, that's what they do. Either that or I've lost him. No fighting now, no head shake, no nothing. Oh, yeah, yeah it's, a, it's another eel. <laughs> yeah. Two for two. That's the same bait. Double sand eel and squid. So that was a smaller eel. I reckon that was only about... I don't know, three, three pound maybe? No, uh, five, five to six. You reckon? Yeah. He wasn't as big as the other one, was he? No. Um, yeah. So that's two for two on the same rod, on the same rig, on the same bait. So I'm just going to do another um, bait up and I'll give you a show and I'll let you know what I'm using. Yeah. There's something on there. <laughs> that's a bigger one. <laughs> yeah. Oh. 
Oh, that's even yeah, that's, that's even more repelling there. <laughs> that's putting a decent, that's going to be a nail. I can feel the way it's moving. Yeah. Oh. 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 I don't know if I want any more in the boat. <laughs> I asked for an eel, I shouldn't have asked, should I? Yeah. Oh, he's swimming towards me now. Gosh, he's, yeah, this is a bigger eel. So this, this is your double figure coming out. Yeah? I don't know. Let's soon find out. Oh, he's hanging on. You can tell it's an eel, because what they do is they, they, they sort of swim backwards, pull, yeah. and then almost at a flick of a switch, they come straight at you again. Yeah. Creature from the yeah, deep. I, can see him, yeah. I might just cut the line on this one. He's taking that really deep. Get it as close as I can. He's gone. Three for three. This is going to be another reel. It's got to be the way that's fighting. It went slack. And it's shaking its head. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> the way it's shaking its head. It's going to be the fourth feel. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Eh? It's coming towards me. Yeah, I think this might be, this is a bit eely. Thank you. You're the eel expert, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh no, look at, get the net, get the net, get the net. That is a clonking. That is a cracker. Right, I'll walk forward, you come behind me, net it from behind, please. Okay. <sighs> you bring it up, son. Wet, the, wet in the net first, mate. He's under the boat. He's under the boat. Choke. Behind him. That's it, in him. Yeah. Oh, that is good a lord. Donker. <laughs> Look at the size of that. <laughs> Brilliant. What a fish. That is. That might be my newest favourite fish. Yeah, well, that's got to be. Um, five, six. It's a nice fish. Bloody that. result that is. <sighs> Definitely. Come for it, it's caught a bass. Right. Oh. <sighs> oh, right, you're six. right. Yeah, yeah. No. what is he? You call that six pound almost, yeah. He's going six three, six four. Should lock out, but yeah. So we go six. We go six. Uh, go six, six is under. Just six, uh, just over six. Oh. Over. Three eels on the bounce, and what felt like another eel bite. Six pound, almost on the money. It was flickering just below, just above. We're going to go six pound on that one. Yeah. She's a fighter, absolutely bristling. And unfortunately, this one ain't going back. I'm going to be taking this one out. What a beautiful fish. I'm going to be keeping this one, mate, because he's too, yeah. too deep hooked, so I ain't going to get that out. Yeah. I'd love to have put it back. Seriously, really would love to put it back. He had one hook in his gill, and he was bleeding, and he had one right down in his belly. Um, so I've dispatched him, and he's coming home with me. He's coming home from the tea. He's not going to go to waste. It would have been nice to put him back. I don't know how old a, a six pound bass is, but I know, I know they don't come easy. Um, but yeah, six pound bass. Six pound bass, nine pounds, we'll call it a strap until they get the double figures. They're not a Congo, I think. I think that we'll, we'll call it that. Um, a nine pound strap and two others T-barred at the side of the boat. Good morning so far. So that was quite a, that was quite a subtle initial take and then yeah. a slam. Yeah. But he's staying down deep, look. That's just a Raymondo. Oh look! That's a good fish. That is a good fish. Ooh. That is a good fish. Right. Just move that yeah. to the place. Wedge myself in this corner. Well, I don't know what this is. I know what I'd like it to be. 
but I've got a funny feeling it just might be a big eel. I don't think it's a big eel, buddy. I don't know, it's not shaking its head. Really? It might be worth getting the net ready just in case. Well, that's, it's that's just down by side my side. Now. Okay. Yeah, that's not shaking its head or anything, and that's just hanging. Oh, unicorn. Oh -ho! Don't call it yet, but that is weird. It's just like a real heavy weight. Well, that's more ray than anything else if it's just a. Because it'll be using the tide against you. Gotta be seen shortly. I don't think that's an eel. You don't think it's an eel? Oh no, it's just oh, oh. Yeah, I can see the end of the rod. Oh, what is it? I don't know, you know. Going off down, that's more ray, isn't it? I think it might be a ray. I think it is. It's given this little. Yes. It's given this little thirty-five. Yes, ray. It's quite a nice one as well, it isn't is. it? He's going all over the place. Yeah. God, he's giving me a vital scrap. Is that a blonde? It is. I think that's a blonde. Isn't that what you were after? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you have to invite me out right. more regularly. Just do us a favour, buddy. Yeah. Right. He is. That is sure a beautiful. That, no, I, I don't know. I'm still trying to. It's a. Very it's blonde. a decent one. You just take yeah, the rock first, please. Right. I'm gonna have to cheek him. That's a blonde. No, it's not. Isn't it? No. Oh yeah, it's an undulate, sorry. My mistake. Yeah. It's just a very light one, yeah, wasn't it? It's a very, very light one. Very Ten pound iron undulate. <laughs> and he gave me a right old scrap. And when I say a right old scrap, he beat me right up then. He had a good old run for it. Lovely. And I hadn't had an undulate this year, so this is extra special for me. I'm gonna get this guy back. Oh. He should swim away nice. There he is, look, straight away, flying. I've got the sun in my face now, but obviously it's better than having the sun on the camera. So we call that 10 pound. It was, it was 10 pound something, but it was definitely, it's a double figure undulate. Not especially big, they go a lot bigger, but I'm chuffed a bit nonetheless. So, so far for me, a nine pound eel, three that were T-barred at the side of the boat, a six pound bass, and a 10 pound undulate. Stu, got a tadpole. Dogfish, <laughs> ting. Dogfish, tings, we're there, aren't we? How and many... a strap. And a strap. And a strap. We're doing well. I'm bringing up the rear. It's Colesburg fishing. It's been a cracking day. So, we motored out this morning. We got here, we set up, anchored, set straight away, and we've been at anchor all day. It's how fast, it's been good. Just about to go through the recovery process now. Um, but yeah, so seven eels in total, two, funnily enough, both almost identical in at nine pound. Um, a 10 pound undulate ray, a six pound bass. We've both had doggies, both had tings. We've had pouting and whiting, um, but no unicorns. So I've text another buddy of mine, he's fishing a different area, a bit further over. He had a unicorn, he had a three pound unicorn little three pound codlin, but none for us today, even though we were using whole squid, Welsh black lug, you know, the proper, the stuff that you would expect to catch it on. Um, but yeah, other than that, we're just about to get ready. We've just swapped over fuel tanks. We're gonna have a bit of a, a tonk back and we're gonna do some lure fishing, or we're at least gonna troll a lure as we go up the river to go and recover the boat. But all in all, a good day. If you don't hear from me again, tight lines and happy fishing. I hope to see you again sometime soon. I am squinting because it's a glorious day. The sun's beaming down on me at the moment. I'm absolutely cooking in my thermal suit. Take it off, Mark. I'm not doing that on camera. Um, so yeah, tight lines, happy fishing. Hope to see you again sometime soon. But from me, 
and Stuart for now. Goodbye.